and like the usual suspects come in for their annual um, gathering and as soon as they walk in the door they hit this like really strange creature named Pluto and they have to kind of go through him as like the the doorman before they enter in the Aquarius party and I, I imagine Aquarius house parties are probably incredibly weird anyway but this just adds to the element like they have to kind of get through him and solve his riddle before they can enter in the rest of it so um i'm i'm excited for venus and pluto to get together just because some of my favorite artists have a pluto venus connection i feel like she just charms everybody and i feel like she kind of likes the plutonian adversarial energy i don't know that's probably totally projecting but i i'm yeah. excited for that just just for that and i won't look at mars right now the Mercury Uranus square. Everyone gets a little nervous with that Pluto Mars situation, but in my head, it's kind of, you know, if you take it back to that party, like a house party, you've kind of got like your, your quarterback football star walking in first, and then you've got the weird little art nerd, <laughs> you know, and you know, like, um, do you guys remember that movie? She's all that where all of a sudden, you know, they do the makeover and she's the, uh, you know, the hot girl or whatever. Mercury is under the beams by then. So oh, he's, right. And Venus has got that whole sign. Well, yeah, he's approaching, he's 